Welcome to the game room. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, continuing with our Final Girls uh, series. We are working on Dr. Grange. Dr. Grange is the only adult in the box and uh, will actually be the second adult that I have. Third one being the preacher from uh, Curse on uh, Oak Hill. Um, but I haven't gotten to him yet. So, yeah, the Curse of Oak Hill. Um, so, let's uh, go ahead and get started and uh, see how quickly we can get her painted up. All right, so a few things to point out on her. She has uh, her shoes, her skin, hands, legs, face, her pantsuit, which we're going to do all in one color, uh, the tablet that she's holding, which we'll do in two colors, one for the basically the cardboard around it and one for the, the paper itself, and her hair. So ideally, this should be uh, pretty quick to get her painted up fewer colors. Um, <clears throat> so to start with, let's go ahead and start where we always do with, let's do the shoes. All right. So for the shoes, we're going to use Black Templar. Okay, and with the shoes done and drying, let's go ahead and move on to her uh, clothes, her pants, skirt, no, it's not really, it's a skirt uh, and top, not really, it's not a pants skirt, um, but her uh, outfit, which we're going to do all gray, I'm going to do something different, I'm going to do it in ash gray, and then I'm going to give it a wash of uniform gray, and to do that, we're basically going to thin that down with the contrast medium quite a bit and then we'll paint over it so it'll darken up the crevices. I thought that might be a little different, something we have not tried before and we'll see how it goes. And if it's terrible then we'll start over. Um, but let's go ahead and do the uh, ash gray. And now it's really hard to tell. The, uni the ash gray is very close to the gray sear, uh, but she is painted. And now I'm going to use uniform gray, and which I have here on my palette. And I'm going to add our contrast medium to really thin this down so we can kind of turn it into a wash. It's probably about six to one at this point. Let's we'll see how this goes. All right, and with the uniform gray contrast that we just made and put on. She's uh, been good. We're going to have to let that dry so we can really see how it looks. We may have to come back and do a dry brush with the ash gray to bring the lighter color back out. But we're going to move on. We're going to go ahead and do her skin. And uh, for that, we're going to start with, uh, as usual, our tanned flesh. And then we're going to do barbarian flesh. And we'll finish it off in a bit with our flesh wash. All right, 
and with the flesh uh, tone done, the tan flesh, now we're going to hit it with the barbarian flesh. And for this, we're just going to hit the high points where the light would hit. If you've watched the other videos, you've seen me do this several times. So, uh, again, and then it'll seem like it's a stark contrast, but when we do the flesh wash, it really ties it all together. You don't want to get down too far. You still want those dark areas where they would normally be dark. Okay, with the tanned flesh done and the barbarian flesh done, we'll do the flesh wash in a minute. I want to let those dry first. So while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and do the tablet. The back of the tablet, I'm going to do it with Agros Dunes and... Then for the hair, I'm going to do that with Dark Oath Flesh, which is a nice dark brown as a contrast. So let's uh, let's get those done real quick. And with those two done and drying, we're going to go ahead and do the flesh wash uh, over the skin tones. And her skin is now dry. And the washes you want to put on, not too heavy. You don't want it to pool, but you want it to, you want to let make sure it gets down into the crevices and it'll just fill in those areas where two different colors meet. It'll also tie the two shades, the darker and the lighter skin tones that we've used together really well. Make sure you don't let it pool because you don't want her to look blotchy. Okay, with the flesh tone on and drying, we're going to do the, the tablet portion of the, the paper and that I'm just going to do is matte white and don't need a whole lot just be very careful you don't get it everywhere else okay with that part done she has if you can see it here her ear is kind of she has an earring and there's kind of a spiral right here across the top. So for that, I'm just going to use a steel, any metallic color you think would look good. And I'm just going to touch the top up here where the spiral would be. All right, and with that, she is pretty much complete. Um, I actually like the way the pantsuit came out. We could do a little bit of a dry brush and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do just a touch of, uh, of edge highlighting just to bring out those sharper edges. So for that back to the ash gray and we could call her done. We're just going to just Take it up just a tad. So very carefully, just right along the edges. All right, guys. Dr. Grange complete. Um, not quite as many colors, but still a few. And uh, not bad. Total time we're sitting at right now is about... 29 and a half minutes, so probably actually about 25 minutes of total paint time. Uh, but again, uh, not bad for very quick. 
uh, very easy with the contrast paints. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, throw a comment down below, and uh, one more to go. We have uh, who's our last final girl? Cat Grifter will be our last one to do for this series. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great evening.